Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Sardinia Piedmont, Vini Vidi Vici. We have Peaced Out Austria. We have Religious Supremacy. We are very strong. We have a lot of aggressive expansion. And uh, so, we might as well shift our sights over here and declare war on the guy who literally just helped us beat up on these guys, right? So they're allied to France, which is pretty funny. I reckon... Oh, Castile. 10,000 ducats in debt. 10,000. 10,000. Huh. Well, that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to Blitzkrieg down France. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, and then we will march our men over into Byzantium land to see to beat up on the Ottomans. So if we have the Mamluks in, I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, they have 41 galleys. Between me and the Mamluks, we have quite a few. They have some heavies as well. I will build a few more galleys just because... That's a, uh, that's it's quite the the large number. So let's get you guys over here to Luca. Let's have you guys with an admiral. Very good, a good admiral as well. Very good. So let's have you guys come here. Split up like this. Manpower is pretty low, so we need to be, you know, mindful, mindful. So let's declare, call in the Mamluks, Switzerland, Aachen, Makuria. Like, what is up with these allies you guys have? Really? I mean, I can I can siege down Switzerland and France, no problem. As long as the Mamluks can hold you off, that's the major thing. So we're going to go Reconquest of Arta. Leroy Jenkins. We'll have you guys siege down over here. Have you guys siege down over here. France does not have that many money men in the field, so I'm not concerned about them. We are losing sailors. Uh, not really, actually. We're gaining sailors. So, let's have our navy group up, honestly. It's going to be in our best interest. So we are losing a little bit, but it's not a huge deal. So I want Naples to come over here and siege them down. Or Burgundy can seat them down over there as well. So we've got two wall breaches already. This is great. Diplo rep and Diplo annex costs. That'll be nice. We can annex uh, Naples here. Crusade against the Mamlux. Brother, that is backwards from what I was hoping. So we're going to get on to Paris. Very good. Um, lost our mountain fort over there. Our Commandant is dead, so we need to get another one. Um, let's take a look here. Let's put some hairs. What's our best bet? So, they have low morale compared to me. 0.5 lower. Their discipline is higher, so we do want a Commandant. Once we, oh, we got a disease outbreak in Paris. Once we siege down France, we'll be able to just piece him out. It's no big deal. That will free up quite a bit of uh, men on our side. So let's tick up a couple of sailors. We're going to need a, a, quite a few to reinforce our navies. Yeah. Ottoman Navy is no joke, man. Never is go siege down Paris please how's things going over here Mamluks are down in Makuria yeah makes sense kind of dumb once they get them out though then the Mamluks will head north so the Ottomans are going to siege down Byzantium that's it's fine get you guys over there have you guys take this Do something like this. We've won the siege of Paris. Let's get over here. And we can probably just peace out France right now. Absolutely. I do want to humiliate him. The bigger the PP, the better. Whatever. Let's just get rid of those guys. Very good. This guy's half off. Not the same culture. What?
What are you talking about? Ligurian? Ah, it's in my culture group, but I'm not an empire yet. Makes sense. So after we siege down these guys, I should be able to get a peace deal out of France. We'll see. So let's have you guys do something like this. The more we siege down from France, the better. Let's come on over here and see if we can do some do some whooping. Get my galleys out there to contribute. Very good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a whooping. Even stole a heavy. Okay, so they can stand there. As long as they don't take Paris before we take the Chartier or whatever. Lost our general over here, which is a bummer. Come on now, 7% they're on Paris. Watch them take it too, because the AI cheats. They didn't win. I almost don't believe it. Oh, come on now. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Not worth. I'll take all your money. That's the big one. A weak France is a good one. Good for us, at least. And then we will immediately turn around and build all these guys. And I believe, yeah, once we finish all these manufacturers, we'll be able to uh, get our 5% goods, or 10% goods produced and 5% um, whatever. So these guys are getting beat up on now, which is fine. Makuria is going to want out. Give me all your money. It's fine. All right, Mammies, please go siege down some stuff up here. You guys need to be useful direct them to head up that way. That is in our best interest, both of us, as war partners. So let's get another general. Not good. It's fine. Um, so we're not going to extend it. Money is not an issue right now. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to revoke both of them. Um, I need to revoke more crown land. Monteferrato, are we working on one right now? Let's see here. Yeah, farm estate, so we're building one right now. So that'll give us base tech goods produced for 15 years. So let's just go with that. Since we're already in the process of it, we don't have to do anything to add to it, so it's good. So just need to peace out Switzerland. I don't really want anything from them because they're not a co-belligerent. Break their alliance with the Ottomans, but that's about it. Do something like this. Wall breach, very nice. Yeah, and they're just dogpiling over here on the Mamlux, which is a bummer because the, the Mamlux really aren't doing a whole lot. Let's keep you guys here. Do some looting, right? I like looting. A little bit of free money. We're just waiting. Once we take the um, the war goal, that'll help us out quite a bit as well. There's definitely some some naval fights going on. So is that his 21 galley? No, that's his transport fleet. That would be great, man. Naples, you need to handle your rebels, man. So that is an absolute slaughter. Wow, we stack wiped his navy. I mean, not his navy, but all of his transports are dead. I've, so yeah, I haven't lost any ships, which is wonderful. So let's get over here. Again, if we can blockade, so let's see here. Yeah, that's not smart to go up there. Who's going up there? Ooh, I'll let you guys lead the way. I'll head in to help you out. Very good, very good. Wow. How many did we lose? We lost a couple of galleys, but that was about it. Well, that's a huge win for us. Yeah, I lost six ships there, that was it. 
Very good. Okay, let's get over here, siege this down, and then we're going to have to head over and start, you know, working our way back into our vassal's lands. This war is definitely a, a long game. As soon as the Mamluks peace out, his war score is going to plummet. Come on now. Let's get you guys over there. Come on. 78% chance. Let's go, please. Please. There we go. Goodness gracious. You guys are going to break your alliance with the auto blob. Give me all your that. And then um, I don't need any of that. But I will take your money because I like money. What's my... Uh, I don't even have that much. So I don't think if I were to walk over here, I would get unblack flagged, sadly. So let's just come over here and get unblack flagged. Take a little bit of attrition to assert our dominance here. These guys literally... <clears throat> okay. Things that need fixed. They walk in here. They get unblack flagged. That's fine. They still are acting as if they're going to walk through here. It doesn't just stop them instantly. They walk for like a half a month acting like they're walking in here, and then they stop. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Anyways. So, we now can blockade them. So if we can land our men over here, we win. Can we just march all the way over? We can. Let's march right on Constantinople. That's definitely in our best interest here. Um, especially with a good maneuver guy. Come on, baby. Please get there faster. There we go. Let's just march right on Constantinople. Head on over and try to see if we can catch out his remaining galley fleet. There's only 20 of them left, which is wonderful. There they are. Good to see naval tradition. So the Mamluks are going to peace out very soon. I don't care if they peace out. It doesn't bother me. I just don't want them to uh, peace out and then have the, the the Ottomans just, you know, absolutely destroy me. Uh, Carlo Felice, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back to good old Palmer, my man. It's one thing that I kind of go back and forth on. I need to make sure that I'm giving my patrons the shout out they deserve. This is my entire army era. Definitely need to build up to more limit. Regrettable. So once I take these two provinces, I can do whatever I want. They'll have to march all the way around if they want up there. And so they have all their men down here taking crazy amounts of attrition. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. Mamluks have lost 52,000 men. And I have done nothing. Destroy them. Destroy the children. No, no, no. What are you doing? Blockade them. You jerk. Can't even go over there because of zone of zone of control. If the man, if the Ottomans wanted to, though, they could go directly there from here. So, just saying. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna scorch it because if they want to come over and cross it, they're gonna have to fight me there. Let's come on over here. Let's come on over here. Once I take this, it doesn't matter. They will not be able to get across. So we can do whatever we want. So. I'm going to siege back all my land now. Next year, we'll be able to take all this tech for free. Okay, so. Seeds Antioch to Ottomans. Returns to core Syria. Revokes core on that. Uh, okay, that's fine. They actually didn't even break their alliance with me. That's hilarious. And uh, now the Ottomans are stuck in Anatolia. And once I get the war score, war goal, we're going to get 17 right then and there. Do something like this. There we go. Something like this. Something like this. And as long as we keep this blockaded, they will not do anything. They can't do anything now because we have naval superiority. That uh, battle where we beat up on his army was was enormous. It was essential, actually. You guys will uh, give me war reps. Can't believe that they're allied to the Ottomans. That's hilarious. Aachen allied to the Ottomans. 
I've officially seen it all in EU4, friends. Okay, so. Let's get you guys up there with him. Get you guys up there with him. There we go. Let's consolidate all these guys on the forts. Let's have you guys do something like this. Siege back all the land for my vassals, eventually. Once we take this, we'll be able to just head on down and siege down all this stuff, no problem. Very close to getting our next tech boost as well. Which is great. The Great Horde is occupying the Commonwealth, sadly. So I do need to be aware that we are getting a tiny bit of attrition over here. So what I'm actually going to do is on the monthly tick. There we go. It's a nice way to uh, sort of maintain that stuff. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to just wait and siege this down. Let's get you guys all over there. There we go. Next month we'll be able to take all three techs, which is huge. Macadon has been won. Get down there. They can't get over here. Doesn't matter. They can stack all their men up there and take all the attrition they want. They cannot walk across that fort. It looked like he was actually about to for a second, though. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why were they acting like they're going to? I hope that's a bug. Do something like this, like this, do something like this, something like that. There we go you guys down here to come help out on that fort. Very good. We are now maxed out. Right, I forgot to take tech, so let's do that. Let's switch over and immediately take admin. We're already focusing it, which is great. Um, I'm going to embrace Ligurian. He's half off, so we want to get him upgraded. Matter of fact, it might be worth upgrading him again, since he's so cheap. They're just going to stand all their men over here derping out because they can't even get to me. It's wonderful. So, let's do something like this. Come on over here, see if we can... There we go. The more of his ships that we can destroy, the better. We can lose a couple of ships. We lost three to his 13. That is what I would say worth. Very worth. Peasants over there, that's fine. Stab please so we have the war goal we have him full occupied in Greece he can't do anything he literally cannot get to me so I'm just going to let his war exhaustion stack up a bit if he wants to come around this way he can but at that point we're just gonna piece him out it doesn't matter right so let's get you guys over here get you guys down here collect the benefits over time is always the correct answer We've won the Siege of Corfu, very good. Put you guys down here, we finished our thing. We can now, five admin efficiency and 10% goods produced for the rest of the game. It's crazy, it's very strong. Push into Tuscany, which will give us Diplorup and Vassalization acceptance for 30 years, interesting. Very interesting. Admittedly, I've been, uh, I just need to take this land I need to get a border here, because I've had this guy as a vassal for so long. Sealy has a disputed succession. P1, one, one of the most overpowered nations in the game. Sounds pretty good to me. Okay, I definitely have realized that I need more sailors. So, let's get more sailors. Oopsies, wrong button. Uh, where am I at here? Boom. Oh, that's also the wrong button. So this is yearly sailors, and then we will also build a couple more of these guys so we can get more ships, because being a naval powerhouse is fun, and I want it. Let's get you down there. And now we just wait and let his war exhaustion stack up. Let's get everything blockaded, which will help out with his war exhaustion. So he's at 4.4. Should be going up. Yes, it is. 
if I really wanted to be petty, I could, um, like, just scorch all of his earth, but I won't do it. So as far as what we want, um, we're going to have him give all of his claim, all of Byzantium's cores back. Um, all of them. Which I believe that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cores. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. I will give Byzantium Constantinople. Um, that's probably all we'll be able to do. He's got rebels there, so let's uh, not have that be a thing. There we go. Take that. We'll end up getting called for peace here soon. Yeah, he's just over there taking attrition. Absolute idiot. They have manpower. Like, they could stomp me if they wanted to. But we have naval superiority, so they can't. Um, there we go. Yeah, they're just going to stand over there and take their, you know, 1% attrition. We've lost one of our ships. No! No! That's bullcrap, dude. Get out of there, man. We did, we did. We lost a bunch of ships. A bunch of our light ships. Well, that makes me want to cry. Anyways. They can just stand over there and take that attrition. I don't care. Is their manpower going down? We'll see. Nope, it's going up right now. Even though they're taking attrition on that stack. Their, their war exhaustion is going up, so I think we just have to wait it out. So we're going to have a rebel uprising in Milan. Are we? No. How far off? Uh, if I can get my... We don't have war exhaustion. Interesting. We're very close to our governing capacity as well. And the war score will keep ticking up as well. The steel has absolutely been the most useless ally I think I've ever had in my life in this game. So let's have you guys... Let's see. He still has the galleys. He's actually been building up his galley fleet, which is kind of funny. It's very funny, actually. So, 1% attrition on all those guys. Is that counting? 38,000? No, it's not counting it. Yeah, he's still gaining manpower, even though he's just standing there taking attrition, which is pretty lame so let's just say I was gonna take this for myself that's a lot less war score okay well I can do that then um, he would accept that and some change right now so is this all Bulgarian culture hmm can't get over there but that's fine as long as I have control of the straight I don't care about the Ottomans anymore Hmm. Or do I want his money? What's his what's his debt situation looking like? He's got some loans. We could probably actually do something to devastate him a bit. Let's just hang tight and uh let the war score war exhaustion stick up. And we'll take whatever we can when we get called for peace. This is 100% worth it. If it means we can just, you know, completely disrespect him like this. Uh, let's support some rebels as well. Wallachian separatists, Montenegrin separatists, Serbian separatists, noble rebels, which do what? Dissatisfied with their monarch due to the liberal reforms. They uh, field professional troops with a large proportion of cavalry. So I'm supporting his noble rebels. I don't know if that actually is going to do anything. I think they're buying down their war exhaustion a bit.
Let's upgrade my army, by the way. Oh, we don't even have calves, so... Matter of fact, so this is a little trick that somebody told me about. If you have no cav in your army, just put it on the uh, weakest unit. And, uh... Yeah, they are buying it down. So they're taking out loans. If you have... Just, if you have no cavalry, put it on the weakest unit, and then your uh, rebels will use the weakest unit cavalry. Because they use whatever your unit is. There we go. We are absolutely filthy rich right now. Super far ahead on Diplo, so I have no problem doing that. And look at all that money we're bringing in. We can use that to turn right around and build more production. Which will in turn bring in more money from trade. And we can upgrade our, our centers of trade and all that stuff as well. No. The Commandant is dead. It's fine, we should probably switch over to somebody different anyways, like a manpower guy. So we're almost maxed out on that. I don't care about dimple points. He's buying down his war exhaustion quite a bit. Very good. So I will take war reps. And I will take money from you. There we go. And I'm going to give Constantinople to him. Because I don't actually want it. The reason I took it from myself is just because it uses my admin efficiency. Constantinople. There we go. Get you guys home now. Very good. Let's have you guys go back to protecting trade in Genoa with him. Let's have you guys head back to Luca since... Wait, just kidding. Let's have you guys head over to Epirus. See some crown land. Do one of these guys. Firenze, owned by a Protestant country. would give me a claim on him. Castile would now join. Really, they paid off their debt. They must have went. Um, must have went bankrupt. That Mingan's opinion on me is good. I can do that. Alright, boys. Let's get our men home. And I think that will do it. That's a great place to call it for the episode. So, if you did enjoy this, camp this episode, please share your support and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe... If you ding the bell, it will send you a notification every time we upload a video. So, if you're enjoying campaigns, that's the best way to do it. Let's do something like this. There's a couple more guys over there. And a couple more galleys as well. If you do want to check out what's going on over on the Discord, we have all that stuff linked in the description below the video. As well as um, my Patreon. I am trying to currently rally the patreon and get it up to about 500 dollars a month of support which uh we're, we're almost there and at that point we're definitely going to be putting more effort into um dedicating more time to the patrons and allowing for more opportunities to actually interact with me um right now the discord is huge for patrons that's like the number one source of interaction that they have with me uh with that being said we're going to be doing multiplayer stuff and all that fun stuff so that is my goal for the Patreon. And uh, if you guys would like to get in on that, you certainly can. Just uh, hop on over there. So, these guys are too influential. Interesting. I'm getting raided, which is, you know, pretty annoying, but it's not the end of the world. And then let's get some more galleys. One more galley, apparently. Right, sailors. Don't care about you. I think we're probably going to stay Protestant, honestly. Protestant is pretty strong. I'm enjoying it. All right, regardless, that's all I got for you. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. On the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.